Hello WordPress people. So in this video we are going to create a REST API for ACF options page. So by default ACF options page REST API is not available because people used to add their own field structure on the page. So we don't have that REST API options for the setting page. So for that uh, we can create our own REST API. So in this video I'm gonna create REST API for my own uh, options page. So and this is I'm going to use in my another project which is headless WordPress REST API project. So that is why I am creating this API. So thought of sharing the same with you so first of all we have to make an acf setting page so this is my local site and i have enabled acf pro and this is my custom plugin where i am adding my all custom code so i already added uh, ACF setting page so let me show you that so currently this is blank and let me show you the code I, I added the ACF setting page so this is my local WordPress repo in my plugins my plugin include admin.php So in the admin menu hook, I have added this Bunty ACF settings page using this ACF add option sub page function. So if you don't know how to create this, you can just go to my channel, which is Bunty WP playlist. I have created a whole playlist for ACF. So if you go into this ACF, this is the video where I have showed you how to create custom setting page. So this is coming from this code. And this my custom plugin is available on the GitHub as well. Uh, so you can check the code with the same folder structure so this is inside my plugin includes admin.php in the admin menu hook acf setting page now next step is add fields to settings page so i'm gonna follow some special structure which i follow in my all the projects so first of all let's create a field group and let's say twp settings and uh, we can select options page equal to so if you see no option page exists just try to save it after saving uh, it will start appearing your custom acf setting page so first uh, let me create a tab so I follow some structure where I add group of settings into particular tabs so first I'm gonna say home page so all the home page related setting I will add under this tab so this tab is created now I'm gonna add one more field which i will say home page setting and i will add this as a group tab ah uh, sorry group field and inside this group i'm gonna add three fields title which is going to be a text 
then text area which short description and another field will be image so let's say hero image because I'm gonna add this on the home page and it will return an image URL so let's save the changes and let me add another tab called blogs currently I'm not going to use that make it left align also add blogs setting and I'm gonna cause type will be group and I'm gonna add some again title field and save it so we created two tabs so in each tab I have added some settings so after saving this let's see how this settings page looks so as you can see in the home page we have these three fields and in the blogs we have this field now um, we will create an API like this where we will pass the tab name so that we will have all the uh, all the all the fields inside that API or oh, and if we pass tab name and the field name then we will have that particular field value only so that's that so we have added fields to settings page now it's time to create custom endpoint so for creating custom endpoint again i'm gonna go to my plugin includes and i'm gonna open my headless app api's php file because this is where i add all custom apis for my headless project so let's create custom endpoint by adding this function so if you don't know how to create custom endpoint i have a playlist for that so if you go to my playlist section and go to wordpress rest api where i showed everything related to rest api and this is the video how to add sorry how to create custom api endpoint so i'm following this over here as well i'm gonna quickly explain what is this but if you want to know how the detailed description or explanation about this you should watch this video so register rest root will register your new endpoint this will be the namespace and version name and this is going to be your endpoint so method will be get or post or delete based on your requirement so if you want to get data so method should be get if you want to post data i mean in update or insert data method should be post so this readable means it is a get method this is the callback function where we will be fetching and returning the data this is the argument so we will be passing two arguments um, one will be the settings name which is this so that we will get all the setting in one shot and another 
and it will be required and another will be the optional will field name so if we pass field name with the setting name so you will get that particular value only so that's that so after creating this uh, our endpoint will be generated so this is my local wordpress json wp json endpoint so i'm gonna add this my plugin version one and then i'm gonna try to access this url and let's see what happens so it says invalid handler because we haven't add our callback yet so i'm gonna add our callback now so whatever you want to have in this api response you have to write down that inside this callback function so in this callback function we are getting this two parameter one is the setting name and another one is the field name i have created the function where it accepts the setting name and the field name and based on that it will return the value so this is the function where it accepts tab and field which is which is this tab is this group field name and field is this field inside that group so that function i used over here so if i if i get empty data i'm sending error message and status 404 and if i get data i'm just returning rest initial response to this callback function now let's see what we get over here okay we have to pass this argument so let's pass setting name but let's check what happens if we don't pass setting name so it is saying that missing parameter setting name so it is displaying only missing setting name because over here we made this setting name required true but field name required is false so this that's not the required field so now let's add setting name and let's copy this home page setting and let's try to hit so it is saying no setting found why because we haven't added any value to this setting so let's start adding values so let's say dwp teaching wordpress norm epsom and let's set hero image as well and update and now let's try to send the request again and as you can see we are getting the data now if we want to get any particular data then we have to pass this field name so let's say field name and let's say i want to have title so i'm gonna pass title so it is fetching only title value so yeah that's that this is how um you can create your own rest api endpoint for the options page and this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video